Hello everyone, it's me, you probably know me, but welcome to a new video today, I'm going to show you how you can homebrew your Wii easily, and you can do this for free, because it's free, see, if you have a homebrew Wii, you have all the advantages of playing online again, and getting some emulators. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how you can do that. So let's get started. First, you need to make sure you're on the latest version of the Wii menu. Hold on. And make sure you have a Nintendo Wii. You need to make sure you have that version. 4.3 U, if you're not, if you're in America. Make sure to save that. And also, you will need your MAC address. Now, go to the internet and once you press there, you can see the Mac, your MAC address. And don't show your MAC address to anyone because if you do, you're screwed. And if you had your MAC address, make sure to record it. Or write it down somewhere. And once you have that, hold on. I need if you're not in the latest version of the menu, which you should, Make sure you're connected to the internet to update it. Now, I'm not going to demonstrate because there's no more updates. The Wii's discontinued forever. But make sure you have your MAC address. Now, we're going to go to our computer. And, yeah, make and before we start, make sure you have a Nintendo Wii. Sorry for the mess. A Wiimote. And an SD card is in here. Any SD card works as long as on as long as is sixty four as long as it's up to sixty four gigabytes. I used to use a SanDisk one, but this one is already modded, so we're gonna use a different SD card. I I think hopefully. Make sure you have your MAC address, and we're gonna go to our computer now. Okay, once in your computer, go to. to use Yahoo for important reasons. Okay. Uh, go to letterbox.com. There you go. I'll leave a link in the description to the site. Okay. Once there, make sure you have the correct version. And here's where you type your MAC address. And once you're done, click I know the bold one. So yeah, I'm gonna type my MAC address in. I'm gonna copy MAC address to 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 clear. But I'm not going to show you. Once you do that, and but once you do that, you can click either of these. Both of these are a joke. It's just choosing the color. So I'm gonna type my MAC address real quick. Once you've done that, make sure you have it. And as you can see, once you're done, you will see a file. Click on it. And in here is all the necessary files. You can check. Yeah. Here you have all the necessary files. Make sure you copy and link this to the root of your SD card. I'll, I will do that right now. Once you have all these files downloaded, make sure your SD card is plugged into your computer. Okay, that's not the correct one. Sorry about the 
it's Windows, but it's not antivirus software. No sponsor. Okay, hold on. Once, once you have your SD card plugged in, make sure that this is all they have all of my stuff. Don't worry about it. You need to grab all of these files. So you said Dex is text document. You need to get a text document for the for put them in here. Oh wait, my SD card's not up. No, so they told me to be right back. Okay, I'm back with a new SD card. So yeah, if you have a new SD card, make sure that it's formatted to FAT32. Oh wait, no, no, I'm dead. I lost. Hold on. Okay, alright. Let's see, go to this PC. Let's put some files. Make sure you have your SD card here. Make sure that it's formatted to... Formatted to the format. Make sure it is formatted to... To... To FAT32. And it, I think this is a 120 SD card. If it doesn't work, then it will try another. If it doesn't work like this, then try a different SD card. Sorry for the noise. Anyway, once you have that, hold on. Make, hold on a second. Let me get the files. Make sure you have these files. Oh, oh, crap. And I'll cut this slide. Make sure you have all of these files. Copy them and paste them into the SD card. It will take a while. Make sure, there you go. And once that, you can inject the SD card and go back to the movie. All right, once you got all the files, put them in the NC card slot. There's only one slot. And go to the mail app. Oh, wait, hold on. Make sure that you have uh, the original Wiimote, the one that doesn't have Motion Plus. Because some parts of, because a Wii Motion Plus controller will work weirdly. So yeah, make sure. Make sure you have the original white one, one that doesn't have Wii Motion. Any Wii Motion works as long as it doesn't have Wii Motion plus in built in. Oh, there it is. I don't know. Oh, hold on. You should have to go back a day further or a day forward. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, let's see if this time works. So, uh, yeah. Oh, oh, there it is. So, oh, wait, wait. You click on it, and if you see this screen, don't worry, your Wii's not possessed. It's just doing its thing. Okay. Once you see the screen, wait. You need to wait. Don't press anything. Leave your remote down. You have to wait. It will take about a few seconds, maybe a few minutes, depending. Yeah, you have to wait. Be patient. So yeah, and there we go. Grab your Wiimote. Press the number one key. This is one. Press it. Hit continue. And if you didn't have the home channel install, you click install. Also, you can click boot me so you can install it. Install it. I have already those installed, so let's exit. And once you have it installed, exit. But the boot me, you have to press A twice. Once you did it successfully, you see everything. And I'm gonna put some apps in the SD card, so I'll be right back. Okay, I got some apps ready. 
I, I don't use USB lower GX because it's impossible to set up unless you have the correct USB flash drive. So yeah, I'm deleting that. Also this. Now in order to get apps here, you need to create a folder on the root of the SD card called apps. That way, and then you can put any apps, you can put emulators, anything you want here. I mean, the possibilities are endless. We can just we can play an 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 NES emulator, which you need, which I'm not going to show you how to set it up because it's tedious. But as you can see, we've got games here. All these games you can download for free online. Yep, the original Super Mario Brothers. You can play it. No, no, yeah, that's it for the tutorial. Thank you, guys. No, that's it. Tutorial. Also, if order. Oh wait, no, do not leave. There's still some more things to cover. Hold on. Okay. So yeah, so yeah, the homebrew channel it will automatically install into the into the Wii menu. You can exit into the Wii menu. And in order to install any other channel, you need a wand file. See, you got all the homebrew channel. I don't use USB lower GF because it's not good to use. Especially if you don't have to correct USB flash drive. Yeah, there it is, the homebrew channel. Now, if you follow this tutorial correctly and carefully, I'm not responsible for any damages for your console or anything goes wrong. But if you do this tutorial correctly, you should be getting it, you should be fine. Anyway, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.